All right, guys, it's Dave Dean back again with another video. And in this video, it's going to be a little bit of a rant. And uh, it's going to be on the Theo M11S. And a product that I was like super hyped about. I went from being way up here, hyped about it, to like non-existent. All right. And I'm going to tell you why right now. Um, on the car audio side of things, right? For headphones, yeah, a lot of people are still going to be interested in it. On the car audio side of things, I'm going to tell you why a lot of people are not going to be excited about this product, right? And I'm just going to jump to it right away. About a month ago, I watched the, the first thing I seen on the Fio M11S was a guy did an unboxing of it, right? And when he did the unboxing of it and the accessories, there was no 3.5 to coaxial digital audio adapter like the female one that they've included with almost all their daps since I've known about feel right for years and years and years they've always included that with the dap and I'm like okay maybe it's an unboxing maybe he's already unboxed it and he put that aside and then he's just doing another unboxing for the video purposes right uh so then a couple weeks later seeing the first review on it right and once again, when the guy did the unboxing, that adapter wasn't there. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. There's no way they're going to not include that, right? Because now they're going to alienate all the people that are into car audio that have been using their daps with that. And then I watched one other review, um, same thing. And I was just like, that's... And I even emailed Theo, right? But they didn't respond back to me, which was kind of... I thought that was kind of strange. So... A product that I was super hyped about just went downhill because I'm like, there's no way I'm going to, because it's, you can't find that maybe feels got one, but like I said, they didn't respond to me and the email I sent them, which I thought was kind of strange. Um, but there's, they don't, I don't see that anywhere. I spent like over an hour, almost two hours trying to find that cable online. And the only cable that I could come up with uh, the only other ones that I found were like a male version, which is absolutely not going to do anybody any good, right? Because like, like I said, in car audio, you have your DSP usually in your trunk, the majority of the people, right? So you usually need like a five meter cable like I have with the AudioQuest, which you, you know, AudioQuest cable here. This is like a five meter cable, right? And then the same thing with the original one that I had installed right? It's a male. All of them are male. These are like standard coaxial digital cables. They're all going to be male. So you need the 3.5 to female adapter, which is the one they've always and feels always included that with their daps, right? And um, I just don't get it. It makes zero sense to me because that product, you know, their cost is going to be probably under five bucks, their cost, right? Probably like three bucks or something for those cords. And, um, to not include it with your DAP when you always have, you know, there's going to be people that buy that. And then this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video now. There's going to be people that buy that DAP and then realize they don't have that adapter, right? Maybe somebody that had an M11 or something in the past. Because usually when you sell something, say you have an old M11 or an X53 or one an older DAP and that, that came with that. If you're going to sell it, a lot of the time you're selling it with all the cables, right? To somebody else so you're not going to have that cable right if you're one of those guys that haven't sold it then just remember to keep it if you plan on going into the m11s but i am not going to do a review on a product because i've been doing kind of like the car audio side of things of these products when you don't include the adapter because everybody in car audio that has a feel dap almost everybody, unless they have the M17, but everybody else with all the other daps, they're going to run coaxial digital into their DSP, right? So without including that, you're alienating the car audio community that have been buying your daps for the last however many years, five, six, seven years, right? So to me, like unless, you know, It'd be a little different if you could if you could have that like I don't mind spending like whatever money on a on a cable 
if I can get the exact one that's going to work, right? What's, like I said, it's got to be a 3.5 to coaxial digital audio female on the, on the coaxial side of things, right? It's got to be a female, not a male. Male's not going to do anybody any good, right? Um, cause the majority of us already have like our cables, right? So if we're running, we're going to up, upgrade our DAPs or whatnot. We already have the regular cables. Like I just showed you the audio quest, or I got a blue jean to one. Two, I got a couple blue jean ones at home. I got, I got probably got like six or seven different brands of coaxial digital cables, right? But they're all like five meters long because that's what you need in a vehicle. So we're not going to go, especially some of us, if you, you know, some of the, some of the audio quest cables, if you got a higher end one than I do, they are not cheap. Right. So we needed that 3.5 female version of the coaxial digital adapter. The ones that used to come with the products that for whatever reason for the M11S doesn't come with it now. Right. So like I said, you would have seen a review of this because I was going to buy it. As soon as I seen it on Amazon, I was going to buy it, but I could not find that adapter anywhere. And like, trust me, I was probably, I actually probably spent like almost two and a half, three hours. because I went back to it, started off in the afternoon for like over an hour and a half. And then went back later on that night, tried going on different people's sites uh, that I know sell a lot of different cables and stuff like that. Could not find that anywhere, right? So I was going to get that instantly when I seen it a couple weeks ago on Amazon in Canada, right? It came out on Canada and in the U.S. on Amazon. Uh, it was actually cheaper for me to buy it on the U.S. Amazon, even with the exchange rate and, um, you know, paying the fees of it coming across the border. It was still going to be cheaper for me to get it through the States, right? But in Canada here, it was like six ninety nine, so 700 bucks, right? And then you'd have to find that adapter cable, which I could not find anywhere. So I really started getting irritated that at that point in time, right? Because you, you guys know how much I love Feel. I think all the products, everything I've reviewed so far has been great. Just reviewed the BTR7, which Feel actually sent me last time, right? Um, but I am who I am. And I'm going to, you know, talk about the good stuff. And I'm also going to talk about the bad stuff when it comes to products doesn't matter that they sent me a product before this is like i don't get it this is like why wouldn't you have that adapter it doesn't cost that much even if you're trying to hit a certain price point of say 700 dollars in canada like just include the adapter that's going to cost you like three bucks or something right i don't get it why they didn't so Unless Fio actually sends me the M11S, which I highly doubt they're, they're going to, right? Because obviously an M11S costs a lot more than a BTR7, right? I'll probably double, triple the price cost-wise, right? So they're not just going to randomly be sending. Unless I had like, you know, 50,000, 50 to 100,000 subscribers, I'm probably not going to see a, a DAP like that, right? So, I mean, but if I did and they actually sent me the, the cable, then I'd be all excited because then I could actually do a proper review. But I cannot do a proper review without having that cable because I know the majority of the people that are going to listen to that DAP, that's how they're going to listen to it in their in their vehicle with a DSP going coaxial digital in to that DSP. So feel if you're watching, that's the only way you're going to see a review out of me on this channel because you know it's impossible to find that cable online anywhere the actual female part of it right not the male version because that's useless the female one is the one that people need um especially if they're upgrading their dap you know they're going from one dap to another they need that and it's non-existent online and, and at least well, all the different I, like i said i spent hours trying to find it and the only ones i could find are the male versions which are useless so that was it to me on the M11S. Like I said, you guys would have seen the review probably last week because I probably would have spent a, a, easily a week with it, right? And doing what I normally do, uh, putting it through its paces maybe a couple weeks, but you would have seen it by now. And uh, so this is the reason why, and I was actually going to do a giveaway on that too uh, as well uh, when we hit 2,500 subs, right? And we're com closing in on 2,000 now. Um, but... Now I might have to just pick a different product, right? Um, I'll try to find something else that's equivalent to that, maybe another brand, right? Um, but once again, I'll be looking for something that has coaxial 
digital out as well in that price range of the M11s and something that's new, not old, right? So maybe something's coming in the future. Um, some of the products that I've seen that are around that price point don't have the coaxial digital out on it. So, but I, I kind of want to find that because I know that's what people would be using, right? So if I'm going to do a giveaway, that's, I'm going to have to find something. Either we're going to have to wait a little bit longer, but I mean, it's, you know, it takes a while anyways to get up to that point, uh, you know, 2,500, even, you know, hitting, trying to hit 2,000 takes a long time. Um, unless you're doing reviews like every, you're doing like three or four reviews a week, but I can't afford to go out and spend, you know, a gazillion dollars buying like Aston Kern SB 3000s and stuff like that. I'm not like Z reviews where I have like 260,000 subscribers, right? Um, that gets like stuff sent to them daily. You know, I can't do that at this point in time. Uh, so I got to pick and choose which things I'm going to do reviews on, right? And like I said, I would have already bought that, no problem whatsoever, if it would have came complete. And to me, I don't think it's coming complete, right? When you're leaving that adapter out. So that's it. This was just based on the M11S and the reasons why you haven't seen it now. And uh, just making people aware that it doesn't come with that adapter, right? Um, that's the big thing because you don't you don't want to go and buy something and then you're thinking it's coming with something and it doesn't come with it, right? And that's the specific reason why I, almost everybody in Core Audio would be buying that is because they wanted to, you know, maybe they can't afford an M11 Plus LTD or ESS or an M17 or something like Tons of people are waiting for that one to see what it's going to sound like, right? Because if it sounds really good out of the coaxial digital output into your DSP, then chances are they're, that's what they're waiting for. They're going to buy it. But they're not. if you can't find that adapter, if it's not readily available, then what's the point? What's the point of even having coaxial digital out of that thing if you can't get the proper cord to go with it? All right? So that's my little rant on the M11S. And uh, like I said, I got nothing but props to say about Feel's products. Like I said, I did, I did the Feel BTR7, great product, right? Excellent product. But you have to have the proper cables come with products that, especially when you've been, you know, they've came with those products forever, you can't just all of a sudden stop doing it, right? And I don't mind spending money, and people don't mind spending money out there, even if it's a little bit more, if you're getting the proper cables, right? You don't want to be trying to pull your hair out, hair out trying to find a cable that hasn't been online for years, right? Um, and, that, and it's kind of weird how you can't find that cable because, there's, I mean, there's probably people that abuse their products, right? And then eventually that like, cable gets ruined for I, mean, I always keep care of my stuff but i'm sure there's people out there that been you know i've had people comment on my channel where do you get those things and i'm like you know the only thing i can think of is contact feel because i haven't seen it anywhere on any site and i'm talking about just not canada us uk i'm talking about everywhere i couldn't find it right so that's it. That's me. That's my rant on the M11S, a product that I was really looking forward to reviewing. And it's once I found out about that, not having the adapter not included with the product and unable to find that adapter, like I said, my the hype train went from way up here to non-existent now. So that's the reason why you were not going to be seeing a review on the M11S by me, right? And um, not unless Fio sends me one with the adapter, then you might see it. Other than that, you will not be seeing it for me on my channel. Unfortunately, I'll have to find a different brand in that, like I said, in that price range um, that has like similar options that has a coaxial digital output on it. Then we'll do the review. All right, that's it for me, guys. We'll see you on the next one.